We are at the end of 2022, and I'm sure you have some awesome celebrations planned to bring in the new year. But as I was reflecting on 2022, I thought that I would use this video to share with you a little something that I've been enjoying this past year. It's actually a video that I've been listening to and watching for the past four months or so. And I thought that it might be something that you want to check out, something that you might want to listen to in the new year. But before I share that video, I want to firstly say welcome to my channel. I'm Crystal Thomas, a classical concert pianist. And on this channel, I share performances, practice strategies. I talk about classical music in general. So if you like that type of content, please be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you know when I upload another video. There are many platforms that we use to listen to music, whether it's Spotify, Pandora, Apple Music, Tidal, etc. Uh, but there is another platform that is great for listening to music, and that is YouTube. So one day I was in the mood to listen to the composer Franz Schubert, and I saw that the channel Brilliant Classics dropped an amazing video. Um, and if you're not familiar with Brilliant Classics, they are a music label that is known for making classical music widely available and affordable to the public, which is great because of course we want to expose classical music to as many people as possible. In addition to that, Brilliant Classics is known for releasing the complete works of composers. And so you might see a box set of the complete works of Johann Sebastian Bach. And when you go to their YouTube channel, you also will notice that they have the complete works um, as well as other interesting pieces and performances on their channel. As I scroll through here, I see pieces like the Clementi Sonatas and Preludes, um, the Saint-Saëns Complete Music for Organ, which is something that I definitely plan to check out later. So when I saw that on August 16th, 2022, they dropped the complete piano sonatas of Franz Schubert, I was so excited, absolutely thrilled. Um, I'll put the link to the video in the description box so that you can check it out later. And if you don't know anything about Schubert, he was born in 1797 and passed away in 1828, which was one year after Beethoven passed away, just to give you a little bit of context. And um, to know a little bit about his style, his music is very lyrical, absolutely beautiful in terms of his melody. And so when you listen to the piano sonatas, you'll notice that the melody is written in such a way that you can sing along to it. So maybe six hours might pass since you've listened to them and you'll find yourself humming the tune or the melody of the piece because it's so catchy and so beautiful. Now, depending on the source, there are 21 piano sonatas that Franz Schubert composed. And I thoroughly enjoy this recording by Brilliant Classics for several reasons. Number one is because it is the complete set of piano sonatas. And that is always very useful because you can use it to study, right? Study the sonatas, you can listen to them. Um, it is very nice that they have the track listing um, and marking so that you can jump to the different sonatas that you want to listen to. And it gives you an opportunity to compare them, maybe follow through the progression of Schubert's style as you're listening to the complete sonatas. And it just gives you a way to access those pieces in an easy format. This recording also includes several different pianists. So a lot of the times you might have CDs or albums where there is a single pianist performing. But in this case, it is a montage of different pianists. And so it's interesting to see the different interpretations that different pianists have on the sonatas as you're listening to the different pieces. So it's very exciting to listen to the different ways that pianists approach those pieces. The third thing that I found interesting about this video is that there are two instances where the performer is using the pianoforte instead of the modern piano. And so this is interesting because it shows kind of what the piano would have sounded like during Schubert's time. So Schubert would have composed and played on the forte piano, which is slightly different than the modern piano. There's a different timbre, there's a different um, 
sound uh, and dynamic range when it comes to playing on the forte piano. And so uh, definitely check those timestamps or tracks out because you are going to be able to feel the difference between the modern piano sound and the forte piano sound. So it really brings us back to that time period that Schubert was in. What also makes this recording special is that it's actually not just the piano sonatas. It also includes other pieces that Franz Schubert wrote, including his impromptus, uh, the Moment Musicou, as well as other pieces that are very pleasing to listen to. So I just wanted to share this brilliant classics Franz Schubert piano sonatas video with you because I really have been enjoying it for the past few months. Um, it has been absolute pure bliss. And yes, it is 13 hours long, but if you are like me and you like to listen to music while you are doing other things, you can check it out while you're working, studying, cleaning, so forth. Um, and you'll notice that you are enjoying music while you're taking care of your business while also exploring a new composer that you may not have listened to before. Now, of course, Schubert has written a ton of other pieces, whether it's his symphonies or string quartets or leader songs. So um, just know that there are other pieces out there, but this is a nice introduction to his works. Let me know in the comments section what you have been listening to this past year. And if you check out the video, let me know what your favorite sonata was or what your favorite timestamps are. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I want to say thank you so much to all who have subscribed to my channel this past year. And thank you to those who have ever liked the video shared and commented. So I really appreciate you all. I hope you had a wonderful year and I wish you all the best in the new year 2023.